Hello, this is Heather Hoffman, and today I'm playing with the brand new January 2020 card kit from Simon Says Stamp called Snowflake Builder. Here's just a quick uh, little peek at the contents of the box as I kind of opened it and started going through them. Um, I pulled some of the items out a little bit already to look at them, but I just wanted to kind of give you a quick little glance at all the fun things in the kit. You can always check out the Simon Says website for a little more detail, but it's always fun to kind of see them all laid out together. So. I'm going to kind of set aside the things that I'm not going to be using and I didn't have a full plan of what I was going to do for this card today but um, I had a little bit of an idea in my head so um, I was starting off with that pattern paper you see there that blue wood grain something about it just looks so pretty and frosty and wintry and the fun little uh, mini snowflake mandala wafer thin die that's in the kit I die cut three of those from white cardstock it's so pretty and detailed and just a fun little um, snowflake die I really love it and then the Snowflake Builder stamp set, um, which is included in the kit. It's a large six by eight stamp set. And I went ahead and chose a sentiment from it that I kind of felt fit fun on um, the layout of my card already. A lot of times, um, unless I'm making it for something specific, I often choose my sentiments based on the shape of them. And this one was just a nice versatile sentiment anyway. So I figured it would kind of be a fun fun one to fit on this card with all these snowflakes. So I'm gonna heat emboss that in white on a little bit of the slate cardstock that's in the kit. It's kind of a fun deep gray, um, a little softer than a black. Um, I like to heat emboss sentiments in black or on black cardstock a lot. And I kind of like that deep gray sometimes for something just a little bit out of the ordinary. And um, I'm just gonna trim it down with my paper trimmer there real quick into a simple little, um, rectangle square whatever you want to call it there um, it's not a perfect square so I guess you'd call it a rectangle just trimming off the extra off of each side and then um, trimming it down so I can adhere it onto my card all right now I need to trim that pattern paper it's always so hard to cut it down but I need to trim it down to fit on my card front first I was going to cut it down with my paper trimmer and then I decided to cut it out with um, stitched rectangles dies from Cyan and Says Stamp. This will allow a little bit of a border um, as I place it on a white card base. So you can see that beautiful pattern paper, but it'll also leave a border of white around the outside as well. So there's kind of a look at how that'll turn out in the end. All right, now I wanted to add some sparkle. So I'm gonna use those fun Distress Mica Flakes that are included in the kit, and I'm gonna adhere them with some of the Distress Collage Medium. It has a matte finish. This was actually the first time I'd ever used that medium. Um, and I was really happy with how it worked. And I use um, glossy accents and some other adhesives sometimes to adhere glitter and things. But I went ahead and put a good, um, good little bead of it around the outside. And then I'm just smearing it with my finger. You could probably use a paintbrush, but um, sometimes it's fun to just get your fingers dirty. And then I'm going to sprinkle those mica flakes over the edge. And it's almost like a really coarse... Um, super coarse glitter, which I just thought looked really frosty and fun with those snowflakes and kind of added to that cool frosty feel. Um, and the pattern paper matches with it so well um, also. So I brushed off the extra off the outer edges, again, just with my fingers, and then put the extra back into that little container so I could make them last. And then I re kind of laid everything out where I wanted it. And then I'm gonna adhere those snowflakes with a little bit of Gina K Connect glue. Um, it's kind of my go-to easy liquid glue for adhering things like this. And I'm just doing a little bit in the center. And what that'll do is as soon as they dry, the edges will still kind of curl up and give some great dimension um, without a lot of bulk or trying to trim um, foam adhesive down that small to fit those little bitty spots. I am going to adhere the sentiment with some foam adhesive. So I'm popping that on and kind of letting one of those snowflakes kind of go over the um, bottom edge of that sentiment a little, which kind of builds onto that three-dimensional um, feeling as well. All right, and then I set that aside. Once that dried, I adhered it to my card base with foam adhesive. There's a closer look at that sparkle from the mica flakes and the beautiful detail in those snowflakes. Thanks so much for coming by today. I hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful day.